Star Wars fans and Black Series collectors, we're looking at Chris Santon here from the Book of Boba Fett, the newest deluxe release. Finally got him in hand. It is a fantastic looking figure. Great looking artwork on the side of the box. Picture of the figure on the back. He's number four from the Book of Boba Fett. And we're only at four. Uh, former gladiator turned deadly bounty hunter Chris Santon is a towering Blackford Wookiee who made a name for himself in the criminal underworld with his intimidating presence and raw strength. 6.9 inches or 17.6 centimeters. Let's get rid of the box and look at the figure. Because he is a good one. I'm digging this figure a lot. I like him a lot. I'm going to compare him inside. He isn't as tall. As other Wookiees, he's uh, he's quite solid and brutish, um, which is okay. You know, this is based on his appearance in live action in Book of Boba Fett, and to be honest, that takes precedence over over comic releases and comic versions of the character, which are typically a little bit exaggerated anyway. So, I thought to compare him to my black chrysanthemum which i did customize this is the uh the one that came out in the box the sort of comic style so having them stand side by side you can see the uh this one's a bit taller obviously they used the chewbacca body for that one i did my review on this figure a while back um and i did do a video sort of going over how i did this um using mainly green stuff to sort of bulk him out add to the add to the sculpt bulk him out a little bit so he will be moving on to my um, comic sort of shelf with my expanded universe figures and stuff like that. So I just wanted to compare that. If you had a Chewbacca figure, that's sort of how they compare. But that's fine. It's 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 a good looking size. He, he matches up well with Boba Fett, who I don't have on hand at the minute. Um, but yeah, compare the two. I think it looks good. Yeah, he'd, he'd like to show some screenshots of um, Chrysanthemum and Boba standing together in the series. And, and yeah, with, with the Boba Fett figure side by side, it looks pretty good. Um, single accessory, which is probably the only sort of downfall to this pet pack, being deluxe. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a white box. It's, it's classed as deluxe. It's a deluxe price, uh, 65 Australian dollars in most places. Um, yeah, expect a little bit more bang for the buck, but this gun does provide a lot of bang. It's a nice sculpt, nice piece. Good details on it. Only a few little, couple of little red spots of paint there on the side. Uh, this sort of part of the barrel here is done in a sort of a, a bit of a slider, slightly silvery, more silvery color. And then we got that sort of blue heat, sort of heat cooked sort of metal look for the blue but it's a nice piece it's got the sort of the same sort of scopes on the top as the uh chewy's bowcaster so one may suggest that this is still a you know typical wookie weapon but it's all good we're going to take a look at the figure all right, just to kick off, I'm going to go through the articulation. He has a ball-jointed head, which does get a pretty solid turn. You know, given that the uh, the amount of his hair and stuff in the sculpt sort of does restrict that movement a little bit. It does move well. Uh, moves, moves up and down. Sort of just enough to change the pose for a little bit of, bit of difference. But that's cool. Uh, ball hinges in the shoulders, and if we just pull the armor down there, you can sort of see there is a butterfly joint in there, so you do get a little bit of extra, extra movement there in the shoulders. Um, the sculpt does sort of limit that again a little bit, but um, you know it seems to be standard practice to put those joints into figures now, um, especially if they're a new sculpt, which you know not complaining about. I think it's good. Uh, yeah, ball hinges in the elbows, which do provide a reasonable sort of angle of angle of movement for both arms. It does have a ball hinge in each wrist, up and down, and this one is in and out. You can just sort of see the hinge in there. Uh, there is a joint in the torso here, which is nicely disguised by the by the belt, which is a separate part. You could take that off, so they can reuse this body if they wish in the future. Maybe a uh, a tarful would be nice. It's just some standard Wookiee warriors. I don't know. 
um, below that it just has the the new sort of ball joint sort of ball socket joint here for the for the hips getting rid of those thigh swivels which aesthetically it's a good thing and you know you still get a nice range of movement there so you don't really need that extra extra sort of movement in the in the in the thigh there especially when you've got the knee just below it gets good angle you get those sort of sideways movements and then uh, ankle articulation sort of up and down into the sculpt there nicely nicely hidden away in the sculpt which is nice amongst the fur and does have that sort of rocker joint there so yeah well articulated nice figure Paint details quite nice on it. The uh, zoom up a little bit on the on the head. There we go. So there is a lot of black, and he does sort of get lost in there a little bit. But you know that's just the way the camera works. Like sort of just the sort of dry brushed on sort of white throughout the, the uh, moustache and goatee eyebrows a little bit of grey I sort of replicated that a little bit on mine sort of nice detail with the with the little gold bands around his hair and sort of braids or dreadlocks or whatever they are from there on the back of the armour here there is a peg peg hole for the peg on the blaster there so that will sit on there nicely so that ain't going anywhere that sits in there nice and snug so the detailing on the armor and the belts is good nicely sculpted piece and the lower belt there as well got the sort of I don't know I like to. Th I'd say it's it's pelts from another Wookie, perhaps, but it's probably. I, I feel like it looks a little bit more like Qui Gon Jinn's ponytail. Um, <laughs> it's like he snuck into the funeral and took it before he burnt. Pouch on the back there that looks nice. Some weathering on that looks good. And again, sort of get a little bit more of that sort of sort of lighter grey, sort of dry brushing, just to give it a little bit more depth to the fur. Coming down the inner arms and down the front of the legs there, so that looks good. No sort of extra paint details on the back, but that's alright, he's going to be facing forward. And of course the, uh, the brass knuckles. Into the sculpt there, they look nice. But yeah, like I was saying, like the uh, the vintage collection version, which was also deluxe, sort of did get a little bit of extra extra accessories. Come with like the swap out hands and the electrified sort of elements to go over the knuckles. A couple other weapons, you know, they were sort of comic centric weapons, just to uh, give the figure a little bit of diversity. But I don't know why they couldn't have done that with this one as well. But it is what it is. I'm. Just happy to have this guy in the collection because he looks great. Nice alongside Fett and Cad Bane and Cobb Vanth, those few figures we've gotten from the line so far. Fennec Shand. So he's a good one. Here's Chrysanthemum, formerly known as Black Chrysanthemum. I think he might still be known as that, I don't know. They seem to have uh, pulled away from that moniker a little bit. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, again, sort of side-by-side -side comparison to my sort of quote-unquote custom that I tweaked. I'm still happy with both. I'm still keeping this guy. Like I said, he's going to go on the comic shelf. But um, yeah, happy to have this one in the collection. Hopefully we get some more characters from Book of Boba Fett. I know we've got Tuscans and um, Pikes coming. So we'll see. But I hope you enjoyed this review. Please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the figure. Let me know what you think of the review. And um, 
yeah, stay tuned for some more coming right up. Hope you all have a great weekend and uh, may the force be with you always.